KC9's Matt Evans is there to explain why Ralph Yarl and his family were there as well. Matt? Hey Kelly, everything's broken down now, but it's an annual Memorial Day tradition here in Kansas City. Of course, it's the annual going the distance for brain injury run and walk. This was began back in 19, uh, back in the 1980s and 90s. It's been going on for decades to honor Amy Thompson, who was shot in the head in 1986 during a robbery. She dealt with brain injuries throughout the rest of her life until she died a few years after that. And today at the walk, a very special guest of honor, Ralph Yarl. It's the first time we've seen him in public since he was shot in the head after going to the wrong home in Kansas City in the Northland last month. Now, we talked to Ralph Yarl's family, who says that this support from everybody here really means the world to them. It could sometimes be very hard and tiring, so I pray that it not, doesn't stop at Ralph because there's a lot of families out there that needs this. Often people with brain injuries may look okay on the outside, but feel different inside. And that can be really hard to articulate to their loved ones and friends. And so knowing that there are other people who get it, it just, it makes it okay. We also talked to a lot of people with traumatic brain injuries that we've told you about in the past, like James McGinnis. He's an Olathe East football player who nearly 10 years ago had a traumatic brain injury on the field. Also, Tyler Moss, the Kansas City police officer, shot in the head in 2020. How they welcomed Ralph into their traumatic brain injury family. Coming up at 5 and 6 today. Live in Kansas City, Matt Evans, KBC 9 News.